Welcome back everybody. This is now part 9 of the Terrestrial Escape Rocket Project. We are actually at the point where we're going to do a static test of the very motor that's going to launch our, uh, our rocket into the air. Uh, what you see on the bottom right, right down here, is our four Bates grain motor, the nozzle end, the insulated bulkhead that we made, and this is the, uh, this is the delay grain that's in here. To the left you're going to see that Pepsi bottle, and the concept is very simple. I'm going to put it down through our, our test stand right here. I have a hole drilled down, and we'll put it down through there, and you'll see this Pepsi bottle suspended, and when that rocket motor fires, as long as that bottle drops within, say, 15 seconds or so, then we've timed our delay grain correctly. So if all goes well, this is the uh, we'll make a duplicate motor, and we'll launch it here in a couple days. All right, uh, let's get it set up, and uh, we'll give it a whirl. Okay, so we're ready to fire this up. What I did was put a piece of paper on that Pepsi bottle because it, it really wasn't that visible between the two buckets. So I'm going to walk over, uh, touch the ignition, and uh, let's cross our fingers and hope everything goes well. Okay, so here's our motor. Uh, as you saw, the delay grain didn't act as a delay at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, before the end of the burn, it uh, just just tore right through that delay grain tube, you know, through the bulkhead, which means it's it's acting much more like a um, uh, oh, I don't know what you call it, probably a, a, just a uh, uninhibited grain. So I really don't know what to do to work around this. Um, I am starting to find that the bigger the motor. The more likely something like this is to happen, I'm, I'm really considering going to a three grain motor, which means I'm going to have to change the configuration of my rocket because uh, unloaded uh, with a motor, that rocket weighs about oh, 11 and a half pounds at this point. So I'm going to give another whirl with another motor. Uh, it's going to take me four or five days to let some more uh, bulkheads uh, actually end up uh, curing, and we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll inhibit the delay grain and see if that makes a difference. Um, if not, then there'll be further delay, which kind of stinks because it's December here and um, it, it's winter rather. So this has got to either get off the ground or be delayed till you know, hopefully, hopefully not till spring, but it may be that long. Okay, I wanted to make sure that we got a burn rate test in here, and what we've got in front of us is uh, three different types of fuels that I've cooked actually since we started. Uh, this rocket project. Uh, on top, as it indicated by the W, is the whiz -bang fuel. That's the 65%, uh, 20%, 15% uh, ratio. Uh, below it is the recrystallized. That's the um, that's the same, actually the sa exact same ratios, only uh, cooked much longer and um, starting off in somewhat boiling water. And below it is the flexi fuel, which is the 60-20-20. So what I'm going to do, um, regardless of the Kind of breeze that we have going on is try to ignite each one of these individually and see how long they burn. Uh, each of these is going to be a two inch test strand and regardless of the shape they're going to burn at the same rate as if they were shaped like a pencil or whatever it may be. So from right to left they'll burn. You'll see the line on the left hand side and that will indicate uh, that it's burned to two inches. Okay we'll try each of these uh, and see how they go. Okay, I've had to reset this whole thing. I've got three more pieces of uh, fuel. Uh, again, whiz -bang fuel recrystallize and flexi fuel. All this fuel has been cooked either anywhere from four days to oh, about a week and a half ago. Um, the test strands I had before flew off the test stand, so let's let's give it another whirl. It's been not not a hot or or smooth day in whiz -bang rocketry today, but let's give this a try and see if this one stays in place. Almost at the two inch mark. There it is, mark. Okay, uh, let's move on to recrystallize. All right, recrystallize coming up. Oh, 
The little nub there you see is kind of a wick. We'll start it on mark, mark. like that burn through a fracture so that's completely engulfed and that is already done okay and last but not least this is flexi fuel uh, this is a fuel designed by Dan Polino and like I said used extensively by Rocketman BKK so far good clean burn but as you can see it burns slower you also notice little bright flecks at the uh, at the head of the burn. Uh, that's because, on uh, unlike recrystallized and whiz bang fuel, it's not dissolved with water, so you you have particles that remain. We're already past our two inch mark, but I just want to give you a better demonstration. And this is also why you'll get a slightly longer burn inside your motors too. All right, and there you have it.